Hello everyone. Today we're going to revise lesson one, the image of who I am. So let's start. Okay. So what do parents provide their children with? Okay. So here I think that you have uh, this question, okay, in your classrooms. So parents should provide their children with first love and support to each member. Also, they should provide a sense of identity and belonging. They should provide emotional and sometimes even financial support when needed. They should provide also unconditional love and acceptance. Also, they should provide guidance, uh, the children with guidance and uh, caring. All right, so here, you know that uh, we have uh, two important uh, uh, roles, okay, uh, okay, of the family. The first role is uh, the instrumental role, okay, if, okay, we have families has two roles. The instrumental role. Okay, which is uh, uh, providing providing shelter, food, uh, clothes, shelter like uh, home, houses, etc. And also we have the affective role, the affective role, which is providing, okay, love support providing love support all right warmth and so on right okay now let's move on so here um we're going to revise okay uh, the main vocabulary uh, as far as uh, lesson one, uh, okay, is concerned. So these are the, voc the voc vocabulary, okay, and the words that you need to know, okay, in order to revise uh, the first lesson. Okay, these, voc uh, these words are to, uh, what is meant by to go through, to be willing to, accomplish, path, to yell, and appreciation. And we have also the definitions. The first one, a set of actions, especially ones that uh, lead to a goal or result. The act of recognizing that something is valuable. To be happy or eager to do something. Able to do or finish something successfully. To shout. To scream. Undergo a difficult or experience. Okay? Um, so... So uh, let's start by to go through. Okay, so can you, okay, um, can you tell me, okay, the right definition of to go through? So you have it in your text. Mm -hmm. So number one. Good. To go through something, to undergo a difficult experience, for example. To undergo a difficult experience. So number one is match it with the F. What about to be willing to? To be willing to. Mm -hmm. Good. It is matched with C, which means the act of, sorry, to be happy or eager to do something. To be happy or eager to do something. Okay? Let's move on to number three, which is accomplish. Accomplish. Great. The word accomplish is matched with D. Okay, to be able to do or finish something successfully. So, great. A path. A path, yes, yeah, a set of actions, especially ones that lead to a goal or result. So, number four is matched with the A. And here, yeah, the word uh, path, okay, we have TH here, which is uh, pronounced uh, th. Don't forget the phonetic, okay, transcription. Okay, so here, path, we have uh, 
the sound th. This is th, right? Okay, let's move on. To yell, okay, yes. To yell, okay, means here yeah, to shout or to scream, so it is matched with the e. And the last one, appreciation, okay, appreciation. Yes, it is the act. So appreciation here is a noun. So the act of recognizing that something is uh, valuable. So it is matched uh, with the B. So these are the main words that you know that you need to know. Okay, in order to revise. Uh, okay, lesson one.